Brandon Reed with us here on the John Mandola Show, a Riverside golfer, soccer player, track and field, basketball. I think that's, I think that covers yeah. everything. I talk about just being a, an athlete uh, like yeah. you are. Uh, just were you always like the the kid growing up, five six years old? You'll try anything. Or? Yeah, that my parents they uh, they encouraged me to do a lot and to go out, you know, try things that I like, and I just fell in love with every sport I have, and it definitely keeps me busy. How do you carry it all around? Do you do you drive and fit it yeah, in the car it's, somehow? It's, it's tough. You know, you go from uh, one golf match, you go to right right home. You, you don't even have time. You change in the car, go to a soccer game night, you come home, do schoolwork. It's tough, but it gives me something to do. You go score like seven goals yeah. or something. I mean, who does that, yeah. right? But you, you did yeah. it. Yeah, it was, it was good. Actually, that game, that was my 50th goal of my season, of my career, which was like a big milestone for Riverside Soccer and for me personally because no one's ever done it. So. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Let's talk about the camaraderie with the guys and the ladies here, the yeah. Lady Vikes and the Vikings. Uh, yeah, pretty we're cool. Like, well, honestly, like you say, everyone says, like, you know, you're a big family, but we really, we really are. We golf. We golf the whole summer all the time. You know, we'll golf other courses, come home, eat, like, with the team and everything, and bond, make jokes with everyone. It's, it's a great time with all of them. All the things you're doing, being a big brother might be more important than any of them. Talk yeah. about having a couple little sisters and their younger sisters for that matter and, yep. and i'm sure they look up to you and see some of the accomplishments you, yeah, you've they, done uh, they're starting to follow in my footsteps with you know sports like playing soccer and basketball and they're they're really excelling at everything i try and give them you know tips what what to work on what they can do better and it, it's really good for them let's talk about uh, the support from your family and, and what that means to you yeah it means it means everything I, obviously i wouldn't be here without them you know them getting me from when i can't drive to picking me up at my golf match far away taking me to my game coming home everything it's grateful for everything they've done coach Lindsay joking a little bit like yeah. hey this guy was in the 50s now he's in the 30s yeah. talk about your improvement on the golf it's course it's been great like I, I haven't everything's improved you know from what I've been able to hit off the tee to my second shots to putting everything I two years like you said I was shooting in the 50s and now if I shot in the 50s I'd probably be so mad and then I'd do it I'd be like oh great job but it's been a great accomplishment to go from 50s to 30s in a matter of two years college uh, you are, you, are you struggling with what sport are you struggling with what major you're struggling with far away close to home tell yeah. us about they're probably good struggles but yeah, tell yeah, us yeah. about what your struggle is a good but I was actually hoping like to go anywhere really where I could get like good price for school not expensive and I'm between right now either going into the medical field or the Secret Service yeah. two interesting fields yes. that's for sure yeah, um, again you, you're gonna toy around with a couple more sports this year mm -hmm. do you just love it all when you're out there doing it it is yeah like i said it gives me something to do it's it's great you know just socialization now it's so tough so you go out you know you practice you get working you hang out with your friends talk to them about you know school what to do after everything so the socialization part is definitely a big thing and then how about the academic part, like actually hitting the books and making yeah, sure you're on uh, top of your studies? Yeah. Is that something so that you I just developed, uh, I got a planner because all my schoolwork and stuff is just piling up and it's actually it's helped me organize everything, get back in so I know what I need to do at this point in time. It's, it's helping me with my grades. Yep. Brandon, great to catch up with you and nice to hear your story. Thank you.